Hello there, welcome to this Microsoft Azure video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to read and combine multiple CSV files resident in Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 using the Azure Synapse Spark SQL. Therefore, let's get started. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Let's dive in into this tutorial. I'm currently in the portal.azure.com and first I want to do is to go to my storage account. So I'm going to click on this ADLS Gen 2 at the alarm. When I click on that, I can see under the overview, we have the resource group, the location, the primary, secondary location, and all that information. I'm going to see very importantly, data leak storage, which is the hierarchical namespace enabled. This is going to give us the Azure data leak storage Gen 2. I'm going to come to the containers under the storage and we have what's called the sales container. Click on that. Within the container, we have two directory files, sales and synapse. Now, in the sales, let me go back to the sales. We have no files. Basically, we want to upload three CSV files. So use the upload functionality and then we can browse through the location of the files on my local system. We want to pick the 2020 to 2022 CSV files. Go ahead and open the files and then use the upload button. So the three files are now uploaded. We can investigate the 2022 by clicking on that. And of course, we can see the name of the directory sales and then the name of the file is sales 2020. I can click on this edit and I can go on a preview to see the content. We have five columns, year, product, unit, price, and the sales amount columns. I'm going to close this tab and uh, let's check the 2021. Click on that. Again, I can edit and I can click on preview and then we have the 2021. And then for the 2022, let's preview so that we can be sure of the content. Everything looks the same. Different records. Beautiful. We want to go on and open the Azure Synapse Analytics. So I'm going to come to this tab. And of course, I've got this Abiola Synapse Analytics workspace created. I can see the overview also, and then I want to come to the Open Synapse Studio. So click on this Open, and a new tab is open first. In the Synapse Analytics workspace, I'm going to see the name of my Synapse, which is Abiola Synapse. And let me expand this. Basically, we have these six tabs, the Home tab, which is the Welcome page, the Data tab, the Develop, the Integrate, the Monitor, and the Manage. I'm going to come to the data tab now because my ADLS Gen 2, the Azure Data Lake Story Gen 2 is linked. When I create this Synapse workspace, I'm going to come to this link and then I can see the Azure Data Lake Story Gen 2. I can double click. When I double click on that, I can see we have the Abiola Synapse, which is the primary ADLS workspace. I can even click on that and then I'm going to see the sales container, which is exactly what we have here. This sales container within the um, the storage account and I'm going to double click on the sales container and I'm going to see the directory files, the sales and the synapse, exactly what we have here, the sales and synapse. And then we need the sales directory. I'm going to double click and I'm going to see the 2020 to 2022 sales sales files. I can right click. When I right click, I want to actually get the URL. So go to the properties, click on that. And then we're going to see the properties. So we have the name, URL, the ABFSS path, last modified, and so on. I want to copy this URL. Once that is copied, go ahead and cancel this. Now, I'm going to right click either on the 2020 or 2021. It doesn't matter because our goal is to read and combine all these files as a single table. And then we can analyze collectively. So I can right click and then select new SQL script. And I want to select the top 100 routes. Click on that. It's going to automatically create a new tab called the SQL script one. When I come to the develop tab, I'm going to see the same under the SQL scripts, SQL script one. I'm going to click on this ellipsis and rename. Let's just call this one sales data analysis. Once I'm done, Go ahead and click on OK. So it has been renamed here, and of course, it has been renamed here. So I'm going to close these properties now. Basically, it's going to actually show the auto generated code, which is the select top 100 rows from the open row set. And then we have in the open row set the bug. So this is actually pointed to the URL. So we have this 
you are appointed to the sales 2021 20, file. Now, our goal is to actually access all the 2020-2022 in the sales directory file of that container. I'm going to solve this in a moment. So next, we need to specify the format, which is going to be equal to CSV because our data are comma separated values, CSV files. And of course, we have the past version, which is set to 2.0. Now, because our data contain headers, I'm going to put in a comma here and press enter, press the tab key, the tab key. And I want to say, hey, the header row is equal to true because truly we have the headers in each of the files, which is fine. Now, before we go, it is absolutely important to specify the serverless pool, which is basically a compute option that allows us to run on-demand SQL queries on Data Lake Storage Gen 2 without needing to provision and manage dedicated SQL pools. So I'm going to come to this connect tool. I've got this built-in um, SQL pool, so there we go. I've got this one already. And when you come to the manage, and uh, I can see under the SQL pools, under the analytics pool, we have this built-in serverless type, which is fine. I'm gonna to go to the develop, now in the develop, I can go on and modify this um, link. Now I'm gonna go ahead and delete the whole thing up to this four slash to delete. And of course, we wanna access all the files, each of the files in the sales directory. So I'm gonna put in a star. So this is actually instructing to give me all the sales files in that sales directory of the sales container container of the storage account. So this is actually important. And once this is done, I can go on and run my query. So let's see, oh, let's see, we actually wanna see all the record. I'm gonna actually get rid of this uh, top 100. I'm gonna use the um, star. So when I use the star, I can go on and run this SQL query. So message, start executing query at line one. I'm gonna to come to this result and there we go, let me collapse this. So we have the data analysis. So we have the record for the 2020 to 2022. Now let's go ahead and analyze this further. So let's, I want to actually say the total sales, average sales, and let's say the count of sales by um, year. I'm going to come here. I'm going to actually delete this. I'm going to type in the year column and then put in the comma, press enter, and I'm going to call the sum aggregate function. So I'm going to sum the sales column. So I'm going to alias this as total sales and then put in the comma, press enter, and then we want to also average or find the average of the sales column. So I'm going to call this one as um, AVG sales. And I'm going to put in a comma. So let's do one more. Let's see one actually sum the unit. I'm going to use the sum function. I'm going to call the unit column, and I'm going to alias this as total units. Okay, I think that's fine. And then, because we have the year column here, so we have to use the group by clause at the bottom. So I'm gonna type in, hey, group by the year column we specified in this selects. And then I can go on and even use the order by to sort either descending or ascending, that is from largest to smallest or smallest to largest. So order by, so I'm gonna order by the sum of sales column at the top, and I can specify the descending or um, ascending. So by default, it is ascending order, but we want to sort from largest to smallest. So I'm going to use the descending order. Go ahead and select and then run the query. And let's see the final result. So I'm going to come to the result tab. And there we go. We have the analysis in the Spark SQL. We have the 2022, 2021, and then the 20. 2020 and 2021. So this is actually the 84,519 for the 2022, and then 82,577 for the 2020, and then 72142 for the 2021, which is cool. I'm going to come back to my storage account, the container. I'm going to upload the 2023 file. Go on and upload. I'm going to browse through the location. Go ahead and click on the 2023 20, and then click on upload. So there we go. So we have four files. I can come to the Synapse Analytics workspace and I can go on and query this again. So select the whole thing, run the query, and then we're going to see the 2023, 20, which is cool. So this is actually uh, 89,408. So this is basically how we can read combine and analyze multiple CSV files resident in Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 using the Azure Synapse Analytics Spark SQL. I trust you enjoyed this video. If you do, like, share with your friends, comment, and follow me for more videos. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.